How nice. Wait, there's a chain running up behind the waterfall. It must be holding the elevator's counterweight. There, the counterweight is free. Two more beads underneath it. I'll take them too. Looks like there's a part missing. I'll just put it in here. It fits! Atlantis is a lot smaller than I thought, or I've found some kind of map or scale model. Laid out just as Plato described it, in three concentric circles. Better not lose the stones. Okay, I've tied the clothesline to the comb. The comb's charged with static electricity. Why, it's pointing at me! The orichalcum is now in the box. Combs charged with static electricity. It's pointing toward that door on the right.
Combs charged with static electricity. It's pointing at those bones on the floor. There are two oracalcum beads in these bones. I'll put them in the box too. The comb's charged with static electricity. It's not pointing anywhere. There must not be any oracalcum nearby. The comb's charged with static electricity. Hmm, it's pointing toward that blank wall in the back. Look! I'll put it in the box too. She's a beauty. Looks like I've started this thing. Amazing! I must be hundreds of feet below sea level, yet there's enough air pressure to keep the water out. It's impossible! Except if that were really true, I'd be dead. The ladder is in place. It doesn't seem to open. It opens! It feels like a stone box.